right, guys, before the video begins, I just want to say, if you all, right, all right, cut that out. I know a lot of people got on me because I've been using that intro for a long time. If you didn't know, this is a moderately new channel, but still newer than my last channel. But nevertheless, if you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel, press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I drop a new video. And in the words of my grandpa, subscribe, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cock a doodle doo. So you want a signature basketball shoe that doesn't cost hella money, but also want a good product. Well, look no further. My spidey sense is tingling. That's not all that's tingling. Uh, Adidas Dawn 2, AKA Donovan Mitchell's second signature sneaker is out right now. Ah. So on the Adidas website, it says these shoes are for Mitchell fans. So if you're not a Donovan Mitchell fan, you probably don't need these shoes or want these shoes and you're not allowed to get them. But you can still watch this video, Ben Simmons fans. So this shoe is fire. If you've watched my videos in the past, you would know I like really bright colored sneakers because you're an attention whore that wants everyone staring at them. But not just the color, the overall feel of the shoe and the shape of it reminds me of the Yeezy 500, which is my favorite Yeezy. So I love the overall silhouette of the shoe. Of course, like the Dawn issue number one, you have the comic book scripts. Of course, on the tongue, it says Spidey, and on the second shoe, it says Sense. The transparent green outsole is really dope because you have the comic book scripts on there as well with the pow and the boom and the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's a blah, blah, blah? Of course, Donovan Mitchell's nickname is Spider Mitchell. On the inside of the tongue, you've got the black Spider-Man. Real ones know when Spider-Man got the symbiote, symbiote, sim, sim, photosynthesis. You know, that turns him into Venom. Real ones know. But anyway, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time. Watch the Adidas Don issue one video for the full Spider-Man skit. But man, even initial try on with these shoes, I was pleasantly surprised. It was comfy. More on that in the next segment. Looks in the initial thoughts rating, 9.5. 5 out of 10. They fit true to size, very snug, very comfy. The cushion around the shoe is crazy. It feels like a fluffy hotel bed with their fluffy ass pillows. Y'all know how hotel beds hit different. And the cushion setup is also comfy with bounce. And that's the technology name too, which is a great name for it because you have a great court feel in this shoe. Not super low to the ground, but you get a good court feel. The shoe is super lightweight and breathable with the majority of the upper being mesh. For the price, you really can't beat it. And also, boost you don't need that even james harden got rid of it in his last sneaker size and comfort rating 9 out of 10. moving on to the traction it's a multi-directional web traction pattern on a rubber translucent outsole it's really sticky just like a spider web man adidas getting real good with the details now but the traction sticks on outside courts and indoor courts respectively one of the better parts of the shoe which i was really happy about traction rating 7 out of 10. blah 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 <laughs> moving on to the materials like i said it's a very comfy shoe with the bounce technology in it and the cushion around the shoe for the snug fit. Ooh, it feel like hotel pillows. Translucent rubber outsole. Mesh throughout the shoe with harder parts around the shoe for durability and stability. An engineered cord lacing system for enhanced security, according to the Adidas website. I mean, besides holes, the laces are just going around a cord, which it really isn't that deep. Aesthetic wise, it is clean though. We've seen this in the past with some Under Armour Curries. And I will give Adidas this. They're always very creative with their lacing systems. Rating 7.2 out of 10. Low key, I wouldn't mind a little bit more plushy feeling in the cushion but for the most part it's an ideal shoe especially for the price moving on to the support and lockdown solid support and lockdown now looking at the shoe is kind of a thick ass shoe like it's team thick and planning your foot making defensive slides all that your foot definitely feels secure in the shoe you're not sore after hooping in this so after you're done hooping all day in this you ain't even got to take these off and put on your slides you know that amazing feeling you get after hooping you can just leave these on i still recommend that you do that but still i'm just saying you could wear these to the court and then on a 
day two. All I'm trying to say is these shoes are very comfy and supportive. But like I previously said, a little bit more plushy in the cushion wouldn't hurt. Lockdown is also very solid, of course, with the engineered cord lacing system. <laughs> Instead of a hole, it's just wrapped around some ropes. I will say the upper lockdown initially can feel a little bit loose at times, but when you wear it in, it kind of forms to your foot. Rating 7.1 out of 10. Price is $100. The cheapest main signature sneaker out there. That is fire. For the price, you got to copy. And now I love what Adidas is doing with their basketball line. Their latest Hardens, Dames, Donovan Mitchells, woo, they all fired. Really solid basketball shoes. The Dame 5s were my favorite performance wise, but the Dame 6s look a little better. And the Dame 7s are already coming out in the fall. Adidas really capitalizing off Bubble Dame. And Nike should capitalize off Bubble Pat Bev and push some black Air Force Ones mixed with some Tims. Also, what the hell happened to the Clippers? Whose team is that? Couldn't be mine. But anywho, for the money, you can't beat the signature shoe. Comfort wise, it is super comfy around the shoe. Just wish it was a little bit more plushy while standing in it. But everything else was super elite in this shoe. For real, for real, this is gonna be my main hooping shoe. Until the Dame 7, we'll see what happens with them. Adidas! All day I dream about sex in books. That's right, kids. Remember to follow those instructions in your textbooks that tell you to go to page 69, tell you to go to page 513, then tells you to go back to the page 154, look in the right corner, and it says poop. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Adidas Don issue number twos. Would you cop them? Would you hoop in them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, remember to check out my social media pages down below and follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my food channel if you're into foods. More sneaker videos to come, man. Stay tuned for that so press the bell and you'll get a notification every time i drop a new video until next time we out peace